welcome back to my channel welcome back guys we're back with another video and today we have a special look coming in this is the look if you guys follow my instagram account i hope you guys do but if you guys do i did do a poll questionnaire where i asked you guys what kind of look would you guys like to have this week a lot of you guys did ask for this colorful look and obviously i won the poll so that's this is the look i hope you guys like this this is actually the very first time that i do this kind of look i usually if you know me i really don't do these kind of looks i'm not the kind of person that goes out of my like comfort zone i'm still working on that but obviously we're here and i just got out of that oh also i want to mention I did not do a video last week. I did mention that on my Instagram page, on my Insta story. I mentioned how I couldn't do a, a look last week. I couldn't do a video for the reason that um, I do work a full-time job. And also, it was midterm week. I do go to school full-time as well. So, it was a lot of hectic going on. A lot of stress. A lot of just... A lot of stuff happening and actually last week also I lost my body if you guys know I do have pets I have a dog and I also have a bunny that bunny was the love of my life I love him his name was bunny it's a long story there's a long story to that but obviously um, he did pass away so that was kind of tragic um, let me show you guys a picture because why not my little baby but basically, he did pass away. He got sick out of nowhere. It's it's very complicated to explain. He kind of just got sick, and 12 hours later, he passed away. It was very hard for me. I'm an animal lover, okay? I love animals, so it was very tragic for me having this bunny for four years, and it passes away. So all that happened last week so it's been a hectic but we are back we're going and i hope you guys keep watching this video i hope you guys enjoy this video i love you guys thank you guys for all the support and let's just get right into it let's let's see how we got this look let's do this so let's get started okay let's get right into it i want to use the nyx ultimate edit palette I'm going to try to just use this, but it probably won't end up being like that. So, I'll probably go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil. Take Me Back to Brazil. And probably some different glitters on the lids. But we'll see how it goes once we start going in. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I want to do like bluish color in the inner corner of my eye and then going into like purplish dark purple and then going out with like bright pink with like orangey yellow color but we'll see how it turns out i'm gonna go in with this blue shade right here and we're just gonna pack that color onto the brush and this is a morphe m321 and we're just gonna start packing it in on the inner corner of my eye like I've mentioned before, I like to just pack in the color and then blend out once it's really packed on because I want the color to build up first before I blend. Okay, so um, I just realized that I want to just do one eye first because if I end up not liking it, then I need to redo it. So I'm just going to leave this eye like this and I'm just going to focus on the right eye for right now. So I'm going to go in with this unknown brush, but it's just, I guess, like a more precision crease brush. And I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, and I'm going to take a darker blue shade. So I'm going to go in with this blue right here. It's not really that dark, but... It's just, just to make it more pigmented, as you can see. And I'm gonna just take this real like navy blue right here I'm just gonna take a little bit and just put it on top of the two colors I just did to kind of give it a darker look towards the like top corner I'm taking the morphe M Morphe M321, and then I'm going to go into that purple shade on the next palette, right here. Pack that on. 
And then we're gonna pack it in the middle. And I'm just working on my crease area. I'm not really doing anything on the lids because I am going to cut out the crease. So I'm just going to take this dark purple here on the Take Me to Brizzle palette. I'm going back to that unknown brush. That I said, it, I think it's from e.l.f. Cosmetics, but I don't want to say that and it not be from there. So and I'm going to take that darker, darker purple right here. And I'm going to just put it on top of that purple I just packed on just to put two colors in there. With colors like these, you want to make sure you're actually taking time to blend because um, since you're packing different colors on the lid at the same time, you don't want it to look like you want it to look seamlessly or evened out. So make sure you are blending fully. I'm just going back with this um, the M321 brush that I just used for the first purple color and I'm just... Whatever it's on here, I'm just using it to blend out everything. So we're going to take this unknown brush. I'm just full of unknown brushes today, as you guys can see. I'm going to go back into that NYX Cosmetics uh, Ultimate Edit Palette. And I'm going to go in with that bright, hot pink, this color right here. I'm going to pack that on there. And I'm just going to take it right next to the purple color I just packed on and blend out. Alright, so I'm just packing this on. Um, with this palette, I feel like I have to really like pack on the color. Oh, pack on the color to my brush because, and it does have a lot of fallout. I don't know if you can see, but, um, but it's workable, you just have to do a little bit more work. So I'm just really taking my time to really pack on this color onto the lid. And I'm going outward, as you guys can see. I'm going out of my eyelid and just directing it outward. Now I'm going to take the BH Take Me to Brazil palette. And with the same brush, I'm just going to go in with this bright pink right here. I'm just trying to pack on that pink like more give it more pigmentation i feel like that one's not really doing like justice like look at that bam just packing that out we're just gonna go into this bright orange well it's not bright it's like a dark orange it's like a reddish orange we're gonna pack that onto that brush and we're just gonna put it on top of that pink we just packed on And then I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro 8. It's like a crease brush. I'm going into that bright yellow right here. Packing that on. And I'm just going to put it right towards the end and just blending it out. I'm trying to make it where it's like hot pink. Oh, it's like blue, purple, pink. Then like... A little bit of orangey yellow towards the end so I'm just packing that on blending it with the pink and the orange that I just put and kind of just blending that out like so so we got a rainbow I'm gonna go back into the uh, m321 and I'm just gonna pack on a little bit more of that those two purples that I used um, because I feel like the purple's not really, like, the pigmentation is not really showing on the lid. So I'm just making sure it looks good. I think that looks pretty good. Then we're going to take that unknown brush that I used for the hot pink, going back with the hot pink. So basically what I'm doing is just repacking on the colors to make sure that they look very bright, vibrant, and they just, you know, stand out. So, and as I do that, I'm also blending, as you guys can see. I'm focusing on that blend. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this crease up. Creased up. 
And then I'm going to go back and I'm just going to pack on those colors again. Um, I'm going to take these two colors right here on the next palette. It's these like this like bright well, light orangey color and then the orange and I'm just going to pack it towards the outer corner and just going inward. So now I'm going back with that M321 and I'm just repacking on that purple color. I really want to uh, pick out more of that purple color than any other color because I feel like purple is just like, you know, I think on the lids it's just, it's really beautiful. So I'm just using that NYX Cosmetics color. I'm just packing that on. I'm just blending those last two colors I, I blended out on the outer corner of my eye and then packing that purple color and just blending it as well. I'm taking this unknown brush that I think is from the Naked palette, one of the Naked palettes, and I'm going to pack on that dark, that purple color and that dark purple color together and I'm just blending that on there. Now I'm going to take that Unknown Elf Cosmetics brush and taking that hot pink again on that BH Cosmetics palette and I'm just going to take that color again and just blend that out because the purple that I just packed on kind of just made the pink kind of fade out so I'm just making sure it's looking vibrant. Alright, I'm going back to that E36, I'm packing that bright orange well that dark orange and I'm also taking it outward on my lid and just making sure it's blending out really good 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 taking that BH Cosmetics number eight brush that crease brush and I'm going back with that bright orange and yellow together like I did the first time for the outer corner and I'm going back making sure that pigmentation is good so really this is just me just repacking the colors that's really just it I want to make sure that everything is being blended out properly and I'm wanting to make sure that the colors are still looking pigmented on my lids and just making sure everything just looks really good so that's really just what I'm doing right here going back Packing that purple again. Now I'm just gonna take this fluffy um, blending brush, the M330. It's just a clean brush, no product on it. And I'm just gonna take it to just blend everything out, make sure everything's blended. So I'm just gonna take it lightly. I'm just gonna do like lightly strokes on my lid. And I'm just gonna make sure that it's all blended. All right. So now, I want to do kind of like a glittery lid, so I left the inner corner of my eye that you see that I cut that crease, I kind of let it like cleaned out. I didn't use, put too much product on it because I'm, I want to put like a glitter there, like a bright silver glitter. So I'm just going to take a makeup remover, you can use any kind of makeup remover on there. And I'm just going to wipe out any product. And then I'm going to take that fluffy BH Cosmetics A brush and I'm just going to... Reblend that corner right there. Make sure it doesn't... I don't want it to look too sharp. I want it to look kind of just like... Kind of blended and smooth. Rather than looking like... You know what I mean? Because I want to make sure it looks... Smoothed out. And also, I'm going to put color under my eyes. So, I usually... If you guys watch my last videos, I do connect the two colors together. From the under my eye and the top of my lid so I just want to make sure that this area right here is blended out good I'm just gonna use the E36 brush it's a smaller brush make sure we're looking good we're looking good we're looking good this is like a really crazy coloring 
I wanted to go all out. When I put on my Instagram to choose for you guys to vote from smoky eye look to colorful look, I was thinking like literally a rainbow. I was like, if they say colorful, I'm going to do a straight rainbow. I'm just going to go all for it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collaboration. Um, this is the Blink Boss palette. Um, I've used this before um, if you guys have watched my videos. So I'm just going to take the Bling Bling color right here pack that on. I'm just going to use it for the inner corner of my lids. It's like a very nice kind of like pinkish purplish glittery eye look. I'm going to take a setting spray, just wet it so it packs on better and I'm going to put it on the inner corner of my lid right here. I think this glittery shade is absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. I'm just packing it on and kind of just bringing it towards the purple shade that I have in the middle of my eye. I'm just going to put it right on the corner just to give a little bit more pigmentation. There we go. There we go. We work in work. I'm dragging it a little bit down to right in the corner of my eye, the inner corner. All right, so now I want to use... um. The Stella uh, Glitter, I think this is a Shimmer Glitter Shadow. And this is in the shade Queen. Hello. And I don't want to pack it right onto the eye. I like to just put it a little bit on my hand like this. And then I like to take my finger, pack it on my finger, and just put it on the lid. I feel like this, I have more control of the color. And how I want to pack it on my lid versus me like kind of just winging it out and just putting it right on my lid with the brush and then kind of like messing up. And then I'm just like, I got to redo the whole lid. I absolutely love this glitter. I think it's so beautiful. It's like a pinkish kind of, it's like really a pinkish glittery uh, shade. And I just love it. So pretty. Do you see that? I hope you guys can see that. Wow, I'm gonna take the brush just a little bit. That's packed on for sure. I'm gonna take the E36 brush again and I'm just gonna make sure that the purple is still packed on there and kind of just blending out if I have any extra glitter towards the end of my eye. That's cute. Very pretty. I'm taking that clean brush that I just used to blend everything out, the M330, and I'm just making sure the inner corner doesn't look too harsh. I'm going to blend that in because it is a strong color. I mean, we're using blue on the inner corner of our eyes. Like, come on. We want to make sure. All right, guys. So... This is the eye look so far. Um, we're gonna just do the other eye real quick and then we're gonna put the full face on and then we'll just do the under eye coloring and then we'll be finished with this look. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so the look is on. I put foundation, blush, contour, everything. I just did my whole face real quick and the lips. Um, I will link, link down on under this video basically all the products I used so if you want to know like the gloss I used or what kind of lip I did or whatever I will link it down below so we're just going to finish this up so we're going to go right into it I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics Professional Makeup Slide On this is just a white eyeliner I'm just going to put that right under my eye It's just to bring out a little bit more like I'm pretty sure you guys can see the difference from this eye to this eye that is just a little bit more packed on we have the liner on both eyes so we're just gonna go right into the under eye look and then I'm gonna take the e36 morphe brush real quick and we're basically just going to pack on every color that we use but I'm really just gonna do um, the outer corner, that bright orange that we use on the BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to go right under there just to connect both colors like I usually always do. I like to connect the 
top color with the bottom color of under the eye and I'm just gonna blend that in there like that. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. So now we're gonna use the same brush and we're gonna pack on that purple. I'm gonna take these two dark and that light purple. I'm gonna go under the eye and right next to that color I just packed on, I'm just gonna keep going down. I mean, keep going that way. That way. And we're just gonna pack that. Just make sure that you're packing the colors within each color because you want everything to blend out seamlessly. Now we're gonna pack on that blue. Taking that from the BH Cosmetics right here. I'm just gonna do it on the inner corner right here. Put that color in. Make sure it's blending with all the other colors. looking fierce okay guys so now I'm just gonna pop in an inner core an inner corner color I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora I think I'm saying it right that palette glow kit and I'm just gonna take this little baby right here you guys already know the unknown smudger I'm just gonna pack that right in the inner corner here, just to give it a little pop. I'm bringing it down to the bottom of my eye to blend that blue color in as well, just to make sure that they look, everything looks blended. All right guys, so I'm gonna go in with a mascara. I'm gonna be using the Big Tease Plumping Mascara from Boxum. Right here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara so we can pop in some lashes. All right, so we're gonna let that dry really quick and then we're just gonna pop on some lashes. So I'm gonna be putting on the Kiss Lash Cult Culture. Culture? I'm guessing it's culture. Um, these are the lacy, lacy kind. So I'll be right back. So no lashes and the lashes. We are done with this look i hope you guys enjoyed this video um this is the final look it's kind of like a rainbow vibes i hope you guys enjoyed this um stay tuned for next week i will be doing the smoky eye look for those of you that did wish for me to do that so you guys stay tuned of course all of you guys stay tuned for next video thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the little time we spent together i love you guys if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media accounts. They're linked down below. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.